Hi, this is a quick start tutorial for the item and inventory system. I will start with the folder structure. So let's create a new folder, call it tutorial. Subfolder called scenes. Databases. And prefabs. Then go to File and create a new scene. Save the scene as a new scene to our scenes folder. Now let's prepare this scene. Go to Devin Games, Standard Assets. Prefabs and drag and drop the floor prototype to the scene. This will be our ground. Let's rename it to ground. In the next step, let's prepare the UI. So I'm going to game object, UI, and create a canvas. Change the UI scale mode to scale with screen size. And the reference resolution is 60 to 9. And I'm going to rename this to UI. Then go to Inventory System, Prefabs, UI, and drag and drop this uh, Prefabs to the canvas. To make a window visible, you have to change the alpha, or you can use the UI widgets tool by clicking on this eye icon. Select the camera and add a trigger raycaster component. Then go to Tools, Inventory System, and create an Inventory Manager. It requires a database, so let's create one by opening the editor. This will load the Fantasy Item Database. This is the database that comes with the asset. We will create a new one. Click on this Fantasy Item Database field and then create new item database. Save it to databases. This database is now empty. First of all, go to settings and disable the auto save and delete any saved keys. Then go to currency and create a new currency. I'm going to call this gold. I don't need any conversations because in this tutorial we will use only gold as a currency. Go back to items, click on the plus button and create a usable item. I will create a simple item that we will be able to pick up and call this item bread. Select an icon. Here you have to drag and drop the model to this field here. So um, I will search for bread, drag and drop it to this field and click the setup button and save 
this prefab to our prefabs folder. Give it a description. We don't need any category for now. We don't have a shop system set up right now. Maybe we'll have a maximum stack of 20. We can destroy, we can drop this item and we can't craft this item. So we'll keep this uh, reference as null. And right now we can't do anything with this item. So when we use this item, nothing will happen. Okay, that's basically it. Now let's up, set up the currency for our inventory. Expand the UI canvas, inventory, currency, and delete the silver and copper. Well, first of all, we should um, unpack the prefab and then delete them. Let's change the child alignment to middle right. And uh, what we need to do to make the currency work is to reselect the gold currency here because the default example database uses also a gold name and this reference is wrong to the database. So we have to reselect it by selecting the tutorial database and then gold. Don't forget this because it will not work correctly if you still reference this gold item. Then select the inventory, scroll down to the item collection and remove any item inside because they are also reference the example database. Okay, we finished the setup for this uh, for the UI. Now drag and drop our bread to the scene. We select the bread prefab and drag it to the scene. Reset the position. And now let's position the camera so we can see the bread better. Right now we can't pick it up, so we have to do changes to our prefab. Right now we don't have any player, so the use distance should be minus one. So we can pick it up from everywhere when you click on it. Here we can edit the behavior, what should happen when we click on the spread. So basically we would, you could put the pickup behavior inside this um, list here, but if you reuse it and mostly you will reuse the pickup system or pickup behavior, um, you can create an action template. So let's do that. Click, right click on the databases folder, create Davian games, triggers, action template and I'm going to call this pickup. Here I'm going to add inventory system can pick up. This will check if the inventory is full and if it's full it will um, write a message um, that the inventory is full and if not it will continue with the next action. In the next action, we will just pick up this item and put it to the inventory window. This name is important and should be the same as the name of the item container. And that's basically it. So let's save the scene and hit play. As you can see, we got an arrow 
and that's because we haven't referenced our database to the inventory manager. So let's drag and drop our tutorial database to this field here. Clear the console and hit play again. Now everything seems fine. And when we click on this item, it says my life is already buzzy. We haven't referenced our pickup action to this action template. So let's drag it inside, apply to the prefab and try it again. Now we can pick up the item. When we use it, nothing happens, but we can still drop it. So next step is to make this item usable. So let's add an action here. I will just uh, add a message to the console. So using the debug.log action. Mm, this bread is very tasty. And then after this prints this message to the console, let's just remove this item from the inventory. Remove item. Let's select the item we want to remove and the amount of the item. Let's try. We click on the item. We click on the bread. We get the message and the item is removed from the inventory.